Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yeshua. Yahweh. This is Minister Paul in Northern California. It's 1010 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time on uh, Friday, 5 2016. <clears throat> this is day 16 of urgent intercession. Lying prostrate out. And I can just feel the presence of others in the spirit praying with me as we do this at approximately 9.30 every morning. This morning I did my prayer at 9. There was an urgency. And I want to share everything that was revealed to me. There's something, there's something uh, occurring in the spiritual realm right and now as I speak. Right now as I speak this. I'm coming to you as a watchman on the wall set in place by Yahweh to make full proof of this ministry from the time I woke up to even now. This is going to take me a while to go through all of this information. I'm going to freely, I've received everything and freely I'm going to share everything with others. And I want to ask you, please share this. This is, this is to me, it's a critical message. And uh, help me share this on Facebooks and you know my Facebook isn't that large so this message needs to go out it's concerning the, the the state of the church in the end times and where they're heading to if they don't stop I ask you to join me in these prayers I will be doing them every day and posting updates it when the Lord reveals something if he doesn't reveal anything then there's nothing really to to update on but uh, he's been revealing things daily. So let me just start. Whew. Hallelujah. Praise you, Lord Jesus. You feel the fire and presence of, of a mighty living God over your lives right now. If you're not, email me. I'll add you to our prayer list. So when I woke up this morning... Uh, I, I first thing I did was look out the window to the east. Now I just had this thought, like right upon waking, like, you know, Jesus, why did you place yourself like way up in the heavens? You know, uh, why not just be down here on earth? I don't know why I even had this thought, but I'm, I praise God, He was the first thing on my mind when I woke up I'm like why did you place yourself way up there when we're down here and he answered immediately and and he said uh, he said I placed myself uh, far above all principalities and, and powers and and put all things under my feet so he the reason why he he, he sits on the throne in, in the heaven is because he placed himself above all and you need that to know that you serve an arisen Messiah Savior Christ that is above all and in you all and through you all amen so that's how my day started he's above all all so then I was uh so then in prayer I was shown Colossians 4 and the Laodicea church. And this was in heavy intercession. It was powerful. Let me know. Let me comment and share. Let me know if any scriptures were revealed to you or if anything was revealed to you. If you joined us today, I want you to feel free to comment. You know, I'm not deleting people's things. I'm responding to everybody. And this is a coming together, you know, in the end times. So this reads Salute the brethren which are in Laodicea. And, uh, and then the church which is in, in his house. And, and I found this interesting. And when this epistle is read among you, cause that it be read also in the church of Laodiceans, and that ye likewise read the epistle from Laodicea. And then it says, Take heed to the ministry which thou hast received in the Lord, that thou fulfill it. And the next thing I was shown was Revelation 3, 14, mentioning, mentioning this particular church again. And unto the angel of the church of the Laodiceans write, These things saith the Amen, the faithful and true witness, the beginning of the creation of God. I know thy works, that thou art neither cold nor hot. I would that 
thou art cold or hot, so then because thou art lukewarm I will, and neither cold or hot, I will spew thee out of my mouth. And, and so I want to take a look at, so, so what I did was, I'm going to bring this over here. I, I, I googled Laodicea in Google Maps, and amazingly this is what turned up. And I, this is, I, I don't know about you, but this stuff is fascinating to me. This is knowledge from the one who placed himself above all. We're receiving knowledge from the King of Kings and Lord of Lords pouring out to us in the last days, guiding us home. If you're willing to listen. So this is what came up on uh, Google Maps. It's called Laodicea. I, try, I, I did this twice with the correct spelling. Look at the coordinates. 37. 333. So I'll, I'll, I'll put links to everything as always. But I just want to show you a couple of these pictures. It looks to me like ruins. This is the second time where I was shown ruins. One was in uh, Mexico. So what I want to do is zoom out and show you the area. So let's just take a quick look at the precise area. You're going to be amazed at this. Look at the area. This map look familiar? Remember when, remember when the Lord showed me a, a picture of three X's? One here. Matter of fact, I'll, I'll bring that picture up right now. So you can see it. I am talking about this picture right here that I uploaded to my Facebook and to Google Plus and put into a video. The Lord showed me three red X's over three areas. And you're looking at it. So this was in April. I believe it was April 26th. You can verify on my Facebook. This, this first red X over here is where that the Egyptian Airlines... Uh, that just uh, recently they're calling it terrorism or I'm not going to get into specifics of that because this this message is not about that this is exactly where it took off from so I was telling my wife this morning when I saw this map I was amazed I'm like then we should be looking at the second X in the Netherlands and Belgium and Germany and then this other one up north of it near Denmark we should be praying over those other two areas because clearly God has given a warning so so let's continue on this Laodicea that's why I asked if the map looked familiar so um, it'd be something like that let me let me continue and continue to share the next thing I was seen I was shown was seven sheep I was shown sh uh, seven really bright white sheep eating extremely green grass just like you're looking here and then the green grass uh, that they were eating to live began to wither and die and I saw a shepherd over them, watching them. And the shepherd turned into a dark shadow man. And the Lord told me it was a false shepherd. I then, and this just doesn't all pour out. This is during a period of like 20, 25 minutes of prayer. <clears throat> and then I saw seven ships again for the second time. Here, I just pulled up a picture of seven ships. They began to separate from one, one another. These seven ships that were together, they began to separate from one another. And then they began to dive underwater. They just began to dive underwater again. Same thing I saw yesterday, but this time the Lord showed me farther. They continued to dive and continued to dive because their intentions were evil. And they kept going down into what I heard the Holy Spirit referring into as an evil abyss. And they continued to go down farther and farther till they reached the entrance of hell. And I heard the Holy Spirit say, Repent. Continuing. I then saw seven clouds. And these clouds were bright white again, just like the sheep. And then they suddenly turned dark and unfruitful. 
and the Holy Spirit showed me Jude, and I'll read the scripture. They were clouds without water. It says, Woe well unto them, for they have gone in the way of Cain, and ran greedily after the heir of Balaam for reward, and perished in the gainsaying of Kor. Could someone please research this? Uh, as I make this video, things that just point out to me, I wonder what is Kor. Please. These are spots in your feast of charity when they feast with you, feeding themselves without fear. Clouds are without water, carried about of winds. Trees whose fruit withereth without fruit, twice dead, plucked up by the roots. That's pretty dead. Double dead. Raging waves of the sea, foaming out of their shame. Wandering stars to whom is reserved the blackness of darkness forever. Now, I need to tell you, the more and more we gather together and pray in this, day 16, the more and more the revelations become more crystal clear and precise in meaning. You can see that God is talking about the church and their condition. I then saw seven dogs. They appeared to be sheep dogs. And they were peaceful. And, and then they began to fight each other. And then the more they fought each other, they actually began to devour each other. And that vision ended. Seven sheep, seven clouds, seven dogs. And the Holy Spirit showed me 1 Thessalonians 5. And I'll put a link to all of these chapters. Pray without ceasing. And it says, quench not the spirit and despise not prophesying. Prove all things and hold fast which is good. Abstain from all appearance of evil. We're going to be talking about this uh, this weekend on our home service. And it talks about praying. And then uh, I charge you by the Lord that this epistle be read unto all the holy brethren. And then the Holy Spirit took me to Revelation 22, 13. And I'll read. It says, I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. Blessed are they that do his commandments, that they may have the right to the tree of life and may enter in through the gates into the city. For without are dogs and sorcerers and whoremongers and murderers and idolaters and whosoever loveth and make a lie. And this is what I heard in the spirit. And I'm going to read it and quote it verbatim. It says, it says, a great separation is coming. Woe to those outside the walls of the gate. Do not fear persecution or complain. Rather rejoice, for you are blessed. And then I saw a, a bright white flash. There was a big bright white flash. What's this next picture? There's the, okay, so let me close this out. There's a map of the seven churches of Asia. We now know that this is a spiritual thing worldwide. And I just want to point out if we can do some research on the church number seven. Isn't it amazing that it's the number seven? God is amazing. It's Laodicea. And um, we need to be in prayer. I mean, the, there's, there's coming a cutoff time. I really feel that. And then I was shown Revelation 16, 1 through 3. And I heard a great voice out of the temple saying to the seven angels, Go your ways and pour out the vials of the wrath of God upon the earth. And the first went and poured out his vial upon the earth. And there was felt a noisome and grievous sore upon them who had the mark of the beast and upon them which worshipped his image. And the second angel poured out his vial upon the sea, and it became as the blood of a dead man, and every living soul died in the sea. This is during the Great Tribulation, and it's amazing that the Holy Spirit just continues to run in, in, in order. Yesterday we were talking about the mark of the beast. It's going to create a sore. And this is what I saw in closing. And I want to thank everybody for listening. I saw a bright white light. I mean, it was just immensely bright. It flashed. See, there was all these people there. And, and some were glowing and some were not. And there was this bright flash. 
and many people just instantly vanished and many people remained and as I saw in this vision the people that remained everything turned dark and as everything turned dark they turned dark they turned dark as if you were looking at like shadow people God bless you all I love you all continue on in prayer everything we do for the Lord he is the air I breathe and I love him so much I want to encourage you today uh, if you're praying this daily and, and you're seeking the Lord daily and you're sharing the Lord daily and you're obeying his commandments and you're reading his word and you're witnessing to others you are not lukewarm do not let the devil deceive you take heed that no man deceive you hallelujah praise the Lord be encouraged I know this is heavy stuff but but let me just pray for you Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, above all, the creator of everything, the Alpha, Omega, the beginning, the end, come, Lord, come, Jesus, come, Yeshua, come, Yeshua, come, Yeshua, for your people. We stand in the gap as intercessors for your people, Lord. Bless your people, bless and curse not, because, yo, I know, Lord Jesus, I know, Lord Jesus, famines are coming, plagues are coming, and yet they are now here. Plagues are upon us like the plagues of Moses. I pray Psalm 91 protection over everyone that is hidden in you right now. That they can be kept from the hour that is coming. And they can make it in that bright flash I saw. They can be strengthened today with all wisdom and knowledge and understanding. And feel your presence and feel your love. Amen.